jobs. I thought about trying to figure out how to do like a conference call with both of you, but I couldn't figure that out, so I'm sending you both Snapchats instead. Um, I had my colonoscopy procedure this morning, um, and they had to stop when they hit my sigmoid col colon because there was such a large um, stricture or stenosis, as it's called, that they couldn't go any further. So they biopsied that. And I, about an hour ago, received those results. And, uh, oh, fuck, I hate that I'm doing this on Snapchat. Oh, shit. I officially have colon cancer. We don't. I love you too, babes. As far as I'm concerned, no stress. God damn it. Because I'm a beat it. Yes, ma'am. I love you too. And I'm hunting, god damn it. This is not going to ruin Halloween. <laughs> Hiya, friends. Uh, many of you know and have been extraordinarily uh, supportive of Mama Rose's cancer journey, and I appreciate you all so, so, so very much. All of that meant the world to her and to me. Thank you. Uh, quick note. Um, I, most of you know that I've had issues uh, in the past, uh, gut-wise, with other diagnoses. However, uh, today I did go in for a procedure. I'd been kind of ill for a while, and. Um, struggling, lost a lot of weight over the last couple of months, July 15th was the day. So uh, today I went in for a procedure, uh, I'd been struggling for a couple of months, I've lost a ton of weight. Um, and uh, today that procedure, which was a colonoscopy, very long overdue, um, findings were uh, colon cancer. Um, so. Anywho, um, so surgery and things are likely going to be scheduled very, very quickly, much like it was for Mama. Um, I am letting you all know that that's part of why miniatures aren't going up. That's part of why um, Haunt is somewhat delayed. Although, um, it is my intention to beat this number one, and number two, I'm gonna haunt, and I'm gonna miniature, and this is not gonna fuck up Halloween, god damn it. Alright, I love you guys, um, just wanted to give everybody a heads up. Alright, well listen, you have this um, cancer in the sigmoid colon, mm -hmm. and um, looks like it may involve the lymph nodes. Okay. Doesn't appear to have spread anywhere. In your body. That's great news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, they weren't able to look at the entire colon. Okay. Um, so what we do in that situation is we do a, we do a PET scan. Okay. CT PET is a really nice thing to do if you can't look at the whole colon. Okay. It's just another CT. Okay. Okay. You place an IV, they give you some stuff and you have the scan. Um, and then we just, we're going to get you scheduled for surgery. Okay. Now, do you, or do you feel blocked? Do you have like a yes. block? Well, yeah. Here, it's here. That's where the tumor mm -hmm. is. The whole purpose is to give you the best chance of not having a complication. Okay. May I ask, uh, when we're talking about doing this, I did speak with Dr. Uh, Hargis earlier about I know that we need to get this out and soon. Is there any possibility that that um, it's safe to wait till early November to do this? Yeah. Oh, thank you, doctor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But what's the wait? What do you want to wait for? Uh, Halloween is is the biggest time of the year, and well, what time for your work? Well, for yes, we do a haunted house um, for a charity, and I'm the designer, the art director. Are you going to be thing. able to hold out? That I mean, you, you're not, you're not, you're able to drink and eat and stuff. 
Oh, well, yeah. I mean, little bits here and there. I mean, I'm, I'm not yeah. binging pizza on, on a night yeah. later, but yeah. We actually know there are studies that have come from other countries that have looked at, like, the interval between diagnosis and surgery. And up to three months is okay. You don't really? want to wait. You don't want to wait. Well, anymore. certainly, I don't want to see it go so, metastatic. Or, yeah, yeah. I looked that up for the for the practice guidelines for colon cancer, and um, that we wrote for the. <laughs> We're hunting, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, so I've been meaning to do this for a minute, a um, little hunt update, a little health update, all that good stuff. Um, I think I've been procrastinating it a little bit because, you know, um, I don't know, it's weird, number one, to talk about all your stuff publicly, although I'm doing this publicly on purpose because I uh, uh, wholeheartedly believe in uh, awareness now, for sure. Um, and a uh, haunt update. Um, so, anyway, been meaning to do this for a minute, so we're gonna do it. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so number one, the good, the great, the amazing. Halloween was absolute joy. Um, tons of trick or treaters. Um, we think there might have been somewhere around a thousand this year. Um, that's, we don't know, we don't really count anymore, but, um, our neighbors who are also into the spirit, um, they had a pretty good count based on their candy. And um, uh, so I, we're, we're somewhere in the realm of a thousand, we think, which was amazing. But it was such joy to be up there and to send uh, all that candy down the chute and to hear the laughter and the joy and the screams and the crying and all the things. It was great to see the neighbors. And it was wonderful. <clears throat> I loved every second of it. And then it was weird. I woke up on November 1st, just so sad. Um, and it's, again, it's kind of weird to talk about some of this stuff, but I think that haunt, okay, yeah, so sometimes it's weird to talk about this stuff publicly, but this is all the stuff that goes on in the head, right? Um, we all, especially haunters, get that kind of um, <clears throat> post-haunt depression, you know? Um, the, the good thing that we usually have is, is that we can get this haunt put away and start planning for the upcoming year and that sort of stuff and and that keeps us moving through it as as we have to tear stuff down and all of that especially for those of us that are home hunters uh but this year it was weird i had haunt to distract me and i was so glad that i had that um because i'm not sure i'd have gotten through the last month um without it for sure but then it was weird when I woke up November 1st and it was time to start thinking about preparing for surgery and preparing for treatment and all of that good stuff. Um, suddenly my distraction was gone. Um, and I got very, very, very sad. Um, so I got very sad and very depressed um, and was struggling to really even interact and noticing myself getting sort of 
short on patience and, and I wasn't living as positively um, and staying as positive as I had um, been working so hard prior to do prior to um, Halloween. Um, so that, that was difficult. And then, of course, lifestyle changes. That's a big thing right now. Um, I had quit smoking for six months last November, and then I had gone back to smoking um, May, June-ish of this year. And um, so that was kind of a big failure, but obviously that was something that needed to change, and I made the commitment that that was going to change again, especially with diagnosis, um, as well as drinking. That needed to, to calm down, too. Um, so November 1st was a lot of wake-up calls. It was So wake-up calls, lifestyle changes, um, preparing um, for surgery and getting the house in order and demo demoing haunt and, um, and trying to get my brain back to that positive space again, um, which I'm working hard for. So, um, and thank you to everyone so much again, always for your support, for your love, for your good juju, for your energy, for all of that stuff that you're putting out into the universe for me. I am so, so very, very grateful. And of course, to all the GoFundMe donors, thank you so much. You have no idea how this has helped um, leading up to all of this. I'm super grateful. Um, so now um, I am two days from surgery. I have surgery on Wednesday. Um, I have a great team. Uh, tomorrow is, is full prep day. Um, so I just want to tell everybody how much I love you. How grateful I am for your friendship and for your love. And <sighs> obviously, truthfully, I'm terrified. But it's all going to be all right. I know that. I believe that. We got this. I got this. I love you guys. Okay, sorry. Sappy moment. So, I love you guys. I will check in again when I can. Um, probably won't hear much from me in the next several days, but um, I have asked Sherry, um, my sweet friend who set up the GoFundMe, um, if she will please uh, post an update after she hears um, from Mama Rose that things have gone well um, with surgery and stuff so that you guys know that I'm still kicking because I'm going to be around a long, long time. All right. I love you. Um, thanks again for you. Everybody send that good juju out. And I hope you all are experiencing love and abundance and peace and joy. Good morning, everybody. Um, quick update. I am in my regular room. The hospital. Room with a view. It's so pretty out there. Um, anyway, just a quickie to say, hey, I made it. It's good. They got um, cancer out and some lymph nodes. Uh, apparently the cancer was really big, like the size of a tennis ball. Almost super chunky. But it's gone, and the resection went well, and I think I already said there's lymph nodes. I got good stuff on board, so we're all right. So in any case, today is the road to recovery. They're going to get me up and walking, remove catheters, you know, all that good stuff. But um, again, get your colonoscopy, because apparently I was walking around with this bad boy for a long time. And... Um, yeah, I love you. More updates later. Good morning, friends. It is day four, and um, things are going relatively well. We are still working on um, some pain management tweaks um, to uh, kind of nip that in the bud a little bit. Um, what else? Uh, 18 inches of colon were removed, and I think I already told you guys that the tumor was the size of a tennis ball. Um, 
they actually showed me a picture of it. I have a picture of it, you know, so for those of you who are gore lovers, feel free to message me and I will message you the, the photo of, of the giant tumor, which I am affectionately calling Clive right now. Um, I received from my dear friend Sherry these beautiful flowers and balloon and lavender teddy yesterday and the lavender bear, which I love and has been very helpful for good squeezes. Um, what else? Uh, if things go pretty well this morning, we'll see. I think it's they're going to go ahead and discharge me either sometime today or maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know for certain yet, uh, but I'll get to break out and go home soon, I think, I hope. And... Um, I guess that's it for the major updates. I love you guys. I hope you're all experiencing and bringing into your life total ease and joy and glory. And I have such gratitude for all of you. I really do. So thank you for you. And happy Saturday. And um... Hey guys, good morning. Great news. I'm getting out today. We're very happy about that. Yeah. So it's amazing how much stronger you feel the second you put your regular clothes on, knowing that you're headed for the door and get to go home. So that's where we're at right now. Um, ditch this IV, get some morning meds, and um, get checked out. So love you. Thank you for you. I get to go home. Yay. Good morning. Updates from home. Yay. Working on um, healing up and um, chilling and so um, the day that I got home on Sunday got settled in. Well, later that evening I spiked a slash afternoon I spiked a 103 degree fever. So. Um, called docs and everything and they're like yeah you're probably gonna need to come back um, so we were halfway there to go back uh, to be readmitted and um, doc called and said let's just sit this out and see if you know maybe it gets better and I'll call you in the morning and we'll see where we're at unless it gets worse overnight with extreme belly pain then just drop everything and come back in so we turned around and we came back home and uh, the fever did break overnight and um, hasn't come back. So that was a fluke, whatever that was. Which Yesterday, uh, we got pathology reports back um, from uh, surgery on the tumor and uh, the lymph nodes. Um, they feel fairly certain that they got it all, for sure. Um, margins were good on the resection um, and f of the 15 lymph nodes that they took 12 of them were malignant and three of them were not so they feel pretty good about the the lymph nodes that they got removed as well so now the only thing left to do at this point is on December 1st I will I have several appointments between now and then um, mostly virtual on December 1st I will go in and I will meet my official oncologist and um, he and I will discuss uh, the beginning of chemotherapy to so def December 1st meeting with the oncologist to uh, discuss the beginning of chemotherapy so that we can kill off all the invisible stuff that's still left in running through the bloodstream or stuff that can't be seen and um, then hopefully um, so I will have more answers about when that will start and how how long that will go and things like that after December 1st um, this morning's been a little bit rough I'm trying to kind of lay off more of the heavy-duty painkillers uh, last thing I need to do after getting off beer and cigarettes again is to become addicted to heavy-duty painkillers too so trying to just kind of muscle through on some of it so um, 
And uh, quite frankly, especially since we're talking about colon cancer, it's a little bit rough after something like a having a big portion of your colon removed and resected back together, for, resected back together to get things functioning properly again. TMI, maybe, but it is the reality of what you'll go through if something like this happens. But it won't because you're gonna go get your colonoscopy. That's the whole purpose of being on this journey with me is for you to go get your colonoscopy on time or if anything is weird in the way things are functioning anyway tough to get all of that working properly again so there's some things that go along with that um, that are difficult to contend with as well as just the basics of going through a big surgery but I'm getting through it staying positive great news that they think they got it all and pathology reports came back as they did I love you guys um, happy Tuesday if that's what day it is I'm not entirely sure I love you all I love you all thank you for you happy Tuesday happy day I'll talk to you soon hey everybody uh, I hope you have all had a lovely holiday weekend I'm sure that much like me y'all have um, much to be grateful and thankful for um, things are slow going here um, I want to thank everybody for your good juju and your love and all, all of that um, Michelle thank you so much for the card I love it so much and um, thank you for thinking of me and thank you, Mary, for your lovely card as well. Um, I miss you terribly, lady. Um, so big, big hugs to my my uh, my sisters out there. Thank you. Um, so um, things in terms of surgery itself are going pretty well, healing well. Um, my incisions are doing great. Um, uh, Oh, that was good, but I was having some pain that was kind of unexplained and really bothering me. So yesterday was spent back in the ER, and it turns out that um, I've developed an abdominal wall hematoma, um, which is what's causing the pain. It's not pains from the surgery itself. All of that's going really, really well. It's um, this hematoma that's developed um, below one of the incisions. Um, so, um, after they had discharged me from hospital and I had come home, I've been, uh, giving myself daily injections, um, of Luvinox, which is a, a blood thinner it's to prevent, um, blood clots, deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. But because of this hematoma, well, I mean, that could have caused the hematoma or, well, either way, or... If I had stayed, if I were to stay on it, it would make the hematoma worse. Um, so um, we have discontinued use of the um, daily injections of the blood thinner for now. I um, hope that that will help. Although, of course, that means that we need to be up and moving around quite a bit more. Um, I'm wearing compression socks, and um, uh, we're gonna um, and. I call them the leg huggers. So I call them the leg huggers. They give you leg hugs, but they're the the things that inflate on your lower legs uh, several times. Um, anyway, the brain still is not functioning well. Um, I love all you guys. Um, so aside from the hematoma, everything is going well, and I'm gonna kick that thing's ass too and uh, so no big I do meet with uh, um, my oncologist next week um, I will be back in clinic um, for a follow up um, with my surgeon and uh, that team as well um, just to check on this and keep an eye on things and 
that's where stuff's at. Um, I love all you guys. Again, super, super happy Thanksgivings. I hope y'all had a wonderful holiday weekend. Sending all the love, all the good juju to you, and I hope you guys will send it all back to me too. Um, love you lots. Trying to stay positive. Um, yeah, I love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey guys, uh, sending you all good juju, good vibes, and lots of love, all that good stuff. Um, so I got some not good news today. This thing that we thought was a hematoma after surgery uh, turns out after another CT today is not. Um, a hematoma, actually, it's an anastomotic leak, which basically means that where they resected my bowel from the colectomy is leaking. Um, this is bad. Um, there's more stuff, like I met with my oncologist yesterday, and we talked chemotherapy and clinical trials and a combo... And um, the clinical trial would be a combo of chemotherapy and immunotherapy, um, which would be good, but that would last for a full year. Just chemotherapy is six months. Um, just chemotherapy, well, regardless, I mean, it's, it's chemo for six months, or it's chemo and immunotherapy for 12 months, so... Um, either way, it's a long time. Um, that would start early January, um, be every two weeks, um, three days of treatment, one infusion at hospital, and then I'd go home with a pump. Um, I would continuously pump for two days after, so, and then two weeks later, again, same thing. Okay, so, now, um, screening for clinical trial. All right, now test the leak, screening for the clinical trials and all that stuff, all the extra tests and everything was supposed to start um, pretty much right away, but we were thinking this was just hematoma and would likely need some needle aspiration to check what it what was in it, and then we were likely to do a, inter, uh, a radiological interventional drain on it um, to make it better, but now that we know that it's not a hematoma, and in fact it's actually a leak, I don't know if that now will preclude me from being able to do the clinical trial or not. Um, uh, doc had prescribed more meds, antibiotics, uh, metronidazole, and Cipro in conjunction um, for 21 days. That sucks. That really sucks. Anyway, a lot of this sucks. <sighs> Need the good juju. I'm not feeling so good about all this. week since the oh my god doom update video sadness meltdown post I want to thank each and every one of you for your whether you hit the like the love the care button thank you so much for that um, and those of you that took the time to actually write something out I want you to know how much each and every single word matters to me thank you and I love you 
Um, so we're doing better. We have um, Dr. Doc and our labs uh, since starting antibiotics and things are looking up. White cell counts are going down. That's a good thing. Okay, so um, things are a little fuzzy in the brain right now. Um, apparently one of the side effects of my antibiotics is that uh, super, super, okay, crosses the blood-brain barrier into the central nervous system and it's making things foggy and blurry and dizzy. It's kind of like being super drunk and having the spins all the time and tough to get things from the brain to the mouth. It's also messing with my memory and stuff a little bit. Um, it's all working and it's doing what it needs to do and that's good because hematoma slash anastomotic leak etc is uh, an infection from all of that is going down I guess. Okay, hex it up. I was sinking. Um, so it's making things fuzzy, foggy in the brain pan. Um, everything the squirrels everywhere. So squirrel this, squirrel that. Hard to stay focused or getting super hyper focused on things. Oh, oh, goodness. Okay. You didn't mean that. You alright there, honey? Mm -hmm. Say hello to the party papers, to our friends. She's being shy. Yeah, she hates it when I point the camera at her. Let's see, squirrels. They're everywhere. Alright, but good mood. Moving in the right direction. We are treating the leak, hematoma, and all that very conservatively right now because um, right now there isn't a lot of fluid to actually drain, so we're not going to do the interventional drain currently. We're going to do another CT scan on the 28th, and if things are large and there's fluid there to drain, then we'll drain it. But Doc wants to try to heal this just with the antibiotics and time and see what happens um, because another surgery would likely mean an ostomy, um, which we definitely don't want. It would also push me out of the time frame that I'm supposed to be um, uh, starting my chemo, which is January 11th. Um, I have a certain amount of time. I'm not excluded from, okay, so I'm not excluded from the clinical trial, but I have a, a certain amount of time. 10 weeks from my surgery date um, with maybe a two week buffer zone in there uh, in order to be a part of the research study for the clinical trial. So it's important to doc that A, we stay on schedule for chemo and so that I can get into the clinical trial. Um, so I am gonna be doing all the screenings. I got, um, I received an itinerary um, for the screening stuff and everything. So we are, uh, moving in the right direction, staying, po we are positive again. Yay, no more meltdowns, um, or currently, anyhow. Uh, and I love all of you, and again, every single word you write, every, just hitting the button, letting me know that you're out there and you care, it really does matter, um, every word. And I, and again, brain, brain pan is fuzzy, foggy, I'm moving in a million different directions, and, um, uh, the words matter. Thank you for taking that time. Um, I've been absolutely awful, 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 awful about uh, being on Facebook and keeping up with everybody. And I really super apologize for that. I hope you're all well. Um, and and absolutely awful about returning texts. Uh, I mean, I see them. I, I read them. I know they're there and they matter. And then... Um, so I love you. Thank you. Uh, I'm serious. sorry. I'm being such a mess right now. Um, okay. Also this drunk thing, it's weird. Um, I was coloring earlier cause Zen. Um, and <laughs> I started coloring outside the lines. I'm kind of an OCD perfectionist and that bothers me. So uh, antibiotic drunk me decided to quit the coloring for the time being until this clears a little bit. It varies some part, sometimes 
some parts, some, sometimes during the day, the words, it, this goes away a little bit. It's kind of heavy right now. Um, all right. Anyway, so the text and stuff, that's what we were talking about. So the text and stuff, um, who am I kidding? I was kind of just shitty about that before. Um, but, uh, it does matter. The words matter. And, um, All right, struggle bus. So, uh, it all matters. Uh, Things are blurry right now. Things are a mess. So I've been at least trying to acknowledge all of you for your beautiful words and your kindness and your love and your your support by at least hitting the love button on them. I've not been responding to each one directly because I can't see. (laughs) Typey typeys are tough and um, brain is off. It'll get better, especially as soon as I'm off these damn drugs. Uh, but it'll be a minute for that. 21 days worth. <sighs> okay, I love you. Stay in positive. I hope every single one of you are well and that you're experiencing life with. Uh, that all of life is coming to you with ease and joy. Hello, everyone, and um, Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Um, I love all of you. Um, sharing lots of joy and gratitude with you, and thank you so, so, so much for all the beautiful birthday wishes um, in the last few days. I appreciate you very, very much, and um, happy birthday to all the other Christmas babies out there with me. Happy, happy birthday. And thanks again to all of you for all your beautiful words. Um, yeah, Merry Christmas Eve. I, I hope you're enjoying the season. Um, lots of love. I don't have any words today. There, It's funny, but things are going well. I love you all. Um, next week starts the big stuff, and I'll fill you in more then. Um, thinking, thinking about maybe uh, um, going live and hanging out with y'all while I'm sitting around anyway thinking about hanging out and going live or something while i'm sitting around uh, the campus for infusions and stuff like that that might be kind of fun assuming well never mind um thank you to everyone that sent um cards and everything um i bought the cards i have the stamps uh and just flaked on doing any of it so i i really do very much appreciate all of you who took the time. Thank you. Happy holidays to all of you. Um, Fill you in more next week. I love you. Happy holidays.